the most interesting journey start when you least expect it. Behold, the vintage 1955 Citroen H-Van. Made in France, converted in America. It used to be an ambulance. Now it's an espresso-making rolling cafe. Shipped by container from Philly. It's street legal and ready to brew. So here's the question. Will French people stand in line for a cup of coffee when there's a cafe on every block? The answer may be right here. 20 minutes de temps. 20 minutes de temps. For the burger dans les mains. OK. We've got uh, about a 20 minute wait for the burgers. Yep, I'm in a city world famous for its cuisine, waiting in line for a hamburger. I mean, I look at this line and I imagine this in my first cafe in Paris, and that's like a dream. This is Le Camion Qui Fume, the smoking truck. And the owner, Chef Kristen Frederick, has taken Paris by storm with a simple concept. Sell good old American style burgers and fries from a food truck. Hardly an original idea in her hometown of Los Angeles, but here in the global seat of white tablecloth dining, it's groundbreaking. Okay, d'accord, on va avoir un classique, right. et un barbecue, right. et deux frites, et un badois. I've been coming to France for decades, and what I know is that people here don't stand in line for anything, and they sure as hell don't eat food from a truck. So to see this, is well, revolutionary. Voilà votre burger. Merci, votre merci. Belle, belle merci bien. Au revoir. We got it, buddy. Wow. So follow me. In the shadow of La Madeleine, a temple built to honor Napoleon's army, I'm eating the burger that conquered Paris. Listen, before I take a bite, I want you to say the words, bon appétit. Bon appétit. <laughs> Thank you. But tasting this beautiful creation seems like an American culinary victory. Even Napoleon would savor. She nailed it. This is perfect, man. You seem to have broken the mold because no one ever ate in the street. No one ever did that kind of to-go thing. Mm -hmm. Like emporté, to-go, yes. meant that you were going to take it home and eat it at home. That's the only thing. Plenty of people told me before we started that it wasn't going to work, that French people were going to think no matter what, if there's food inside of a truck, that it was going to be unsanitary, or the food was going to be of a bad, terrible industrial quality. Kristen has long since proven her skeptics wrong. With the traditional brick and mortar restaurant that just opened, it appears that she is at the forefront of a movement that is changing the rules of eating in Paris. The French are ready to eat on the street a hamburger with their hands. It's becoming part of their cosmopolitan life now. And that, that's important for what I do in the, in the coffee industry because, you know, a big part of what we do is the coffee to go. Mm -hmm. There is absolutely a market for, for your concept here. Uh, these artisanal coffee shops are just now making uh, the way on the scene. You've just ignited my competitive spirit. 